Welcome into the ESPN FC studios. I'm Dan Thomas, joined by Craig Burley, Shaka Hissop, and Jurgen Klinsmann with us as well. Craig, the question is simple. Much like you lot. Uh, is Harry Kane... Well, it has to be a simple <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is Harry Kane the greatest striker ever in the history of the Premier League? I mean, that's... Can we, can we stick a graphic up and give me a clue? Well, would you like other contenders? I mean, he's certainly... Alan Shearer, obviously. Is, yeah. Is, is, who you throw in there? Wayne Rooney? Thierry. I think the answer is he, he is very much up there. But this... Is he number one? <sighs> Probably not. But this Premier League thing drives me nuts because it's like the game was invented when Sky Sports came in and a bunch of money was thrown. Well, I know, but, that's re but now's, no, not, no, now's but, not the time but, for that rant, and, and is it? And now's the time to answer the question. They rebranded it and the likes of Jimmy Greaves and others <laughs> were scoring goals for fun. They have the record for the, for the top league, league in England. Harry Kane is up there. There is not a doubt about it. A bit like Alan Shearer in a way. There are so many other facets to his game. Uh, and he's talked about this within his move to Bayern, that, that, that he is a nine, but he can play as a ten, and we'll see how it goes. And I think he's done it so well, but also he's done it in a side that hasn't always been the most competitive in English football, which is Tottenham. It's not been challenging every year for the, the uh, Premier League. It's not the Man City. It's not an Arsenal. It's not a Chelsea. So by that count, I think his achievement merits even more credit if that makes sense. But not the best. Well, I, I, so, Jürgen, if I throw Wayne Rooney, Alan Shearer, <laughs> Harry Kane at you, who are you picking first? I pick all of them. <laughs> oh, don't give me that! <laughs> because, obviously, yeah, no, obviously, they're all fantastic, fantastic strikers. <laughs> they all proved it uh, to everybody, to the world of uh, football, that they're uh, special, that they're just unique in their own ways. And Harry Kane is unique. You know, Harry Kane, uh, what he's done the last 10, 12 years in the Premier League for his club, obviously, the loyalty that he showed Tottenham is, is, is unique. And now he goes out for an adventure. Now he goes to Bayern Munich and, uh, and has to prove his point. You know, you go to a different league. Uh, obviously, it's a massive club, Bayern Munich. And uh, uh, he goes there to win some trophies. Um, but, uh, I mean, what he's done so far is, is fantastic. You know, he, he breaks all the records if it's uh, with the national team for England or, or almost, obviously, the, the record of Alan Shearer. But he leaves now and, and he shows that, OK, it's not about that one particular record. It's about, you know, trophies. And uh, he's, uh, in his way, in his playing style, he's, uh, uh, yeah, a 10. And I'm, I mean, a 10 in, 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 in a vote. <laughs> Uh, because uh, he's left-footed, right-footed, he scores by headers, he scores penalties, he can uh, score by free kicks. Uh, uh, he's a tremendous uh, intelligent player to link up with uh, whoever type of player he plays with. Um, so it's, it's, it's complete and he wants to prove that now also on the continent, going to Germany and, and, uh, and, and obviously in the, in the Champions League then on the, on the biggest stage. Before we go to Shaq quickly, if you were to say, if you were to, say to me... Right, right. I, I did say to you before. Okay. And you, well, I've had time to think about you it. You didn't Jürgen, answer. Jürgen was talking about you did, a little, you bit time, little, little bit of time to think. When, when you put me on the spot, right? you put me on the spot earlier, Right. lots of gr great <laughs> players. If, if, if you said to me, you've got the choice of two players, Kane and Shearer, in their pomp, yes. which one would you take to lead the line? The answer for me would be Alan Shearer. It's close, but the answer for me... And maybe that's because that was my era and I played against him for club and country. But he didn't have some of the skill sets that Harry Kane did, Alan Shearer, that is, in terms of coming short and spraying balls all over the place. But he had other facets in the physical... I, I just feel he was more of a natural goal scorer. He's the player I would take slightly over Harry Kane. Shaka? I, I'm, I'm with Craig in, in that by sitting down. I'll always be partial to, to Alan Shearer because I played with him and knew, I played against him and I, I know exactly what, what he could do and, and how he was able to take over games almost, almost single-handedly. Um, and, and the truth is, yes, Harry Kane has played in, in a lesser team in, in Spurs, one that hasn't been competing at the top end of the table. Um, and, and maybe his, his numbers have, have suffered as a result. Harry Kane has more than just the finishing ability of a Sergio Aguero. I don't think he, he dictated games in, in, in the way, or single-handedly dictated the games in the way that Thierry Henry did. But when you look at his numbers, the only true comparisons, both sides, well, 
in terms of goals and assists is with Alan Shearer and, and Wayne Rooney, who's second in goal scoring, second in assists in, in, in Premier League. So it's, it's horses for courses. But um, if I had to choose one to lead the line, to, to build a team around, um, I'd always go with Alan Shearer. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much. Just a reminder, ESPN FC is with you every single day. A lot's going on at the moment. Uh, be sure to join us for everything you need to know from the world of football.